hi guys welcome back okay so today I'm going to do the unboxing of the Cricut Maker and it has enough to do one project to teach us how so that's what we're going to do right now so let's get started okay guys so this is what the box looks like the Cricut Maker it's in purple so it's quite heavy so that's why I'm doing it this way I'm going to show you the back of the box in one second okay so there's the back of the box that's what it says and now I'm going to open it okay guys so this is how it comes in the box it's all wrapped I'm just going to unwrap it and that's the color of it right here. It's really pretty. And then there was also this box in there and it says let's get started. So there was this box which I'm going to open in a second and then the power cord was in the box and the last two things that I seen in the box are the two mats. There's a pink one and a blue mat. Okay so here's the color. Very very pretty and then when you lift this up and you flip this part down I know that this part here is storage and that it has more storage on the side here. So, and then the two mats that came with it, this one is used for fabric only. Let's see, there you go. Cutting mat for fabric only. And then the other mat, the other mat is for everything else. So now I'm going to open this box here and let's see what's in there. Okay guys, so when you open the box, the first thing you see is materials for your first project. It's actually an envelope with stuff in it. And then there is the manual. This one is in French. And this one is in English. Which is good. And then there is one of the blades right here the cutting blades and then under here there is the marker the computer cord for it to go to your computer and this is to cover the blade when you're not using it a cap And then a pamphlet. It's the warranty. So that's everything that you get in the box. So that is the unboxing of the Cricut. Okay guys, so I have it out of the box now. So we're going to set this Cricut maker up from start to finish. So let's get started. So the first thing that I have is... I have the power cord obviously and it came in the box so this one goes this end obviously goes into the power and this one goes into the back and then this cord will be for the back of the Cricut and my laptop so let's do that. Okay guys, so now I have it hooked up to my computer. Now according to the manual, we needed to go to www.cricket.com slash setup. So that is what I've done. I've loaded their website here. So now it says, let's get started. Select your product. So I'm going to select Cricut Maker. C 
create a Cricut ID. So I've got to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so it says account created, successfully created, continue. So we're going to continue. Download the following on screen prompts easy. So we got to download. Save file. Save. So this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, so it's done successfully. So now it says continue, so we are. So now it shows you how to hook up the cords, which I already did. So now what we're going to do is, I'm just going to turn you slightly here. And open it up here. We're going to hit the power button. We'll go back to the computer, which is here. And it says we are connected to the machine. Continue. Claim your goodies. So let's hit continue. Your fabulous free one month trial because it's a brand new machine. And you get your one month trial, then it's only $9.99 a month. After the free trial ends, you can cancel at any time. Start my free trial. So I gotta fill this out. And I'll be back. Okay, so now it says you're ready to cut your next project. So it says continue. And these ones with the A, they're the free uh, projects for one month. So it says click on here. So I did. Smile card. Here you find all the details whether you want to make it or not. Okay. Make it. So this is where your project gets automatically sorted by color into individual mats. Connecting to the machine. Okay, select material. So they gave us this um, card with the machine. When I opened it, I showed you. And inside has material. I opened it. Oops. And it has three pieces of material, which is for you to do your first project. So it's telling you to pick the cardstock one. So I'm picking the cardstock. It's showing you how to load the blade, but the blade is already loaded in the machine for cardstock. So we can just push next and continue.
it's showing you how to load the pen which I'm going to put you back here so on this side is where the pen goes so you just open this up and they gave you a pen which I put in the bottom here in the storage already so we just open it up and there's an arrow right here so we'll open it up we will be trying not to hit the computer we're going to put this in we're going to lift it up just a little because it does have give because that's how it begins to do the marker and stop so then we're just going to push it down till it clicks in and now it's in and now we're just going to close it back up so that part is done the blade is ready so we're going to go back to the computer and see what our next step is continue now place your white cardstock on the mat arranging it with the top left corner of the grid slide the mat underneath both mat guides keeping the mat pushed firmly against the rollers press load slash unload button okay so that's what we're at now so this is the mat that they gave us and on the top it says light grip right up here so you just take off the plastic covering which is there the top left which is here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the table and I'm going to put the cardstock on there so I'm just going to lay it on the table for just a second you need at least 10 inches in front of the machine and 10 in the back of the machine so you're just going to lay your cardstock up in the top corner I'm going to do that and then You don't have to push hard, you just slightly run your hand over it. So it, it is on there now. Let's just make sure that it's straight. Okay, so now what we do is there's two guiders here and then two rollers. So you're supposed to push it up against the two rollers just like that I'm going to adjust this just a little up a little there we go okay so I'm going to push this up against the rollers and then this this that's flashing is the button that you have to push to feed it in to start the process so I'm going to push it And now it's starting. Okay, so no, it fed in the machine. Okay. And now you press the C, which is the go. Okay, so we're going to press the C. And it's going to do the design. And the reason you need space in front of the machine and in behind is because the mat does roll in and out through the front and through the back.
so it's done with the marker part and now we're getting ready to do the cutting part It shouldn't take too long. I think it takes about a minute. And actually on my laptop, it is showing you the circle on how much percentage it's at. Right now it's at 75%, 80%, 94%, 80%. So it is finished. So now it says to hit the feed button again to unload, which is over here at the top, right here. So we want to unload the mat. Now we have the mat in our hands. Everything is done. I can go back and unload the pen because you don't want to leave the pen in there so you just unclip and unclip the pen and then close the clip back up put the lid on the pen and there is a spot right at the top here to keep the pen in so we have that part done. So now we are going to peel the pattern off. And from what I understand, I'm just going to close that temporarily. It's easier if you flip the mat over and you peel your paper off like this so that it doesn't bend your project. Now there is some little pieces left on there, which I have the tools, I'll just scrape it off when I'm ready. So now this is scrap, and here is the card already cut out. So it's done. The card is that part, anyways. Okay, so now, I'm going to go back to the computer and see what it tells us to do next. So we peeled it off the mat. Continue. So you're going to fold the card in half, insert the liner into the corners in the slot, and the way and way you go. And then it hits continue. Okay. So I'm going to fold the card in half. Sorry, I'm going to just turn you back. So here's the card. We're going to fold it in half. There we go. And they gave us a blue piece of cardstock, which is right here. So you're just going to feed it in the back. So there's a spot at the bottom for the two bottom. Let me move over here so you can see. So there's a spot at the bottom there and a spot at the bottom up here. Oops. There we go. And then there's a spot that it slides right into there. So there we go. So there it is there. Super cute, easy card to do. So now they did give us a piece of fabric in the kit also, which is here. And from what I understand, we can use this fabric 
to cut out this kite. So let's try that now. I'm just going to move that out of the way. We're going to go back to the computer and it says Continue. Embellish your embellish your card. Continue. Add a new project. This is where you create so an image. Here we're going to type kite, search, here's the kite, and on this first one is the one we're going to do. So we're going to click on it, insert image, up here at the top it it's kind of cutting off. Let me just up a little bit. There we go. So up here at the top, it says that you could change the sizing if you want to, but it's already pre-sized. So we're just going to click make it. This is what the mat looks like. It really doesn't matter what the fabric looks like because, you know, you use your own fabric. So you hit continue. connecting to it and now we're going to do the fabric button so we're going to click on the fabric we've got to change the sorry I'm just trying to make room over here so now we're going to change the blade so we're going back here and because I push that up I have to close it and reopen it so that the bottom opens up. Now they did send us the fabric blade which is in this one. So to do the blade we have to unclip here. This pops open. The paper blade comes out. You can put it in your storage if you want just to keep it you know where it is. You don't lose it. I'm going to open this blade. Sorry guys, I should have had it open. I didn't know. Okay, so now we have this and it says that we have to put this is the plastic part. We have to put the gear part up against the other gear. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to slide this in and let it sit right on the top of that ledge. We're going to close the first clamp and then close the second clamp. We just want to make sure that it's sitting properly. There, it sits in, we close this one, and then we close this one. There we go, it's closed. So, we've done that. Let's go back to the computer, see what it says to me. We hit continue. And we're going to use the fabric mat, which is this one right here. And up at the top, it actually says fabric grip right up at the corner. So you know which mat is which. Again, we have to take off the protective, which you will put them back on when you're done with them. And then we're going to take our fabric. Now, according to this, we need to put our fabric in the top left corner again, but with the pattern facing down because the blade will be cutting on this side and 
you don't want to cut it on this side. So the blade will be cutting this way. So we got to have always have your pattern facing down on the mat. So I'm just going to put this onto the pink mat in the top left corner. Again, just run my hand over it just a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go back to here. And we're going to put it in through the two guides and push it up tightly to the rollers. Just like that. And we're going to do the feed. And now we're going to press go, which is this one, the C that's blinking on us. So we're going to do that one. It was detecting the tool. It's finalizing. And now we're getting ready to cut. And if you look over here on the computer, it shows you that it's 100%. So it, it's already done. So now we're ready to unload the mat. So what we're going to do is push the first button that we pushed before and unfeed the mat, which is right here. Now we don't have to worry about it crinkling on the mat this time because it's fabric so I'm just going to peel the fabric back and there is our kite so then you can just peel your kite off just like that and there is the kite super cute and then you'll just take some glue and you can glue your kite down onto your card. And that's it. So we okay guys, so that was the tutorial and it was really easy. They do literally walk us straight through it. So now I'm going to venture out and do some more things on the Cricut and figure out what I can and cannot do. So that will be coming up shortly on the channel. So please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, everyone.